It's time to answer the real questions. Will hacking in the armor pass without buying the armor DLC allow you to access the Isle of Armor? Today guys, we're going to show you what exactly happens if you have the armor pass in your inventory and you did not buy the DLC. Are you able to access the DLC? There's a lot of interesting footage regarding this, relating to this, and obviously you are only gonna be able to experiment with something like this if you have a hacked switch. Now one notice guys, I highly recommend you don't do this because this is essentially piracy. And I mean, it doesn't really matter and you're gonna see why in a minute, but uh, just recommend not to try and do this. There is some things in the video you should not do. The footage has not come from me directly and the other footage, I mean, we'll get we'll get all into that and there's a lot to, there's a lot to discuss. So first of all guys we're in Wedgehurst, the place where you have to come to to get to the Isle of Armor. I am playing on my account here, my only Pokemon account, my only real account that I've played on, which is on a non-hacked switch. I do not have a hacked switch. I have the Isle of Armor, I've purchased it. When you go into the menu guys there's no reminder to buy the DLC, that disappears after you've bought it and when you you come to the train station here you should be able to talk to this guy right here and give him the armor pass to go to the armor station just like that it should be an option and the armor pass is actually something that shows up as soon as you've actually bought the game uh, the DLC that is it just appears in your inventory and then you're free to come here just like so and do all the all the DLC goodness so we're on this island we've already done the DLC on here but I'm here to show you guys what happens if you don't have the DLC and you do hack in the armor pass so some of the footage on this is going to go to Ram here. So shout out to Ram over on the Discord, one of our one of our raiders, our special raiders, and we're gonna look at his footage right now. So here we are starting off in the tower here. He's just showing us the menu that shows the expansion pass thing that I showed you was not available on my account, is in fact available on his. He has not bought it, and he is now showing us the armor pass that is in fact hacked into the game, along with some other items. Uh, band autograph? Is, oh no, that, that's, a, that's a real item, isn't it? That's a real item. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he's also showing us a modded uh, Raboot right there. That is a that is modded. That is not in the game like that. So this is a 100% verified hacked switch right here. He's going to go to Winden like we just showed you guys with the armor pass right there. And he's going to try and use it. You have to fly to Wedgehurst, not Winden, sorry, Wedgehurst, the very first town. That's where we have to go for the train station. And he's going there right now. So just loading I guess and when you're in there you have to go to the train station now a lot of people were able to go to the train station a long time ago months ago before the DLC was out uh, to get a free event and a free Galarian slowpoke which was not shiny locked however that, that is all out now I like the slowpoke the slow bro is all out now when you first enter you're going to be greeted with this cutscene so this is the first time he has entered this train station on this game file and we're introduced to one of the characters of the game uh, who you first get introduced with who is going to be the, your main I suppose rival in the Isle of Armor and you get to battle a slow poke in a sec as well now obviously the train instructor the guy you have to talk to is talking to her first and seeing information about the armor pass which at this time when this was added was not available obviously now it is available because it has been added to the game we got the slow poke cutscene you are free to battle the cut the battle the slow poke and catch it but he's not going to we're going to talk to the train driver and see what happens here so there's a slowpoke living in the eye. It's just, I guess it's just the regular thing here with the uh, the regular cutscene. Uh, he's going to talk to, it. so he can't do anything. He can't interact with this train driver. He tries to interact with the train station itself. There is no option to go to the armor station like you saw with me. So that's a wrap on this first cutscene. But what about when we connect to the internet and try again? So here again, we got the same guy. We got the expansion pass still purchasable right there. And we're going to try again with the cutscene all cleared out, all done. Done, and we're gonna see what happens. We're also he's also showing us that he still has the armor pass hacked into his game right here. Okay, same 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 team, all that stuff. So get out of here and talk to the train driver with the with the entire thing cleared out. The the old the free cutscene is gone. The the, the Pokemon's gone. And now we can see he's mentioning that we do have an armor pass, or there is some sort of problem. And the reason for that is, guys. Well, he's going to try connecting online. Obviously, that's not going to make a difference. For anybody who knows, you can obviously go to the armor, uh, Isle of Armor, Isle of Armor, without being online. That's not a requirement to go to the DLC area. Of course not. I was just doing it to be thorough. So he's finally connected to the internet, and you can see all the raids pop up, and he talks to him again, okay? Uh, he's just showing all the same stuff, okay? The expansion pass is still there. He's, here's the armor pass, yep. And now he's going to talk to him once more while online. It's not going to make a difference. 
There seems to be some sort of problem. Please try to speak to me again, some, some other situation. So, what went wrong here? Why does the armor pass not work on a hack switch? Back to my game, guys. The reason that did not work is because my armor pass is actually different from his armor pass. From hacking in an armor pass into the game, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, it's a different item. Same thing for uh, Max Honey. If you guys got into raids that were giving you Max Honey as a reward, it was actually placed in a different part of your bag, entirely separate from the Max Honey you get in the game, and you weren't even able to use it. So the armor pass right here is the same situation. It is. It does appear in the right place, however, it is not the, it is not the right item. It is not programmed to be the correct item. It does have the sprite and all, but it does not work. So that's why this video being shown right now up to this point is not a piracy issue because it just simply doesn't work. You can't do this. You cannot get the DLC this way. However, there is a way you can get the DLC for free. And at this point, guys, I am going to highly recommend you do not do this because this is in fact piracy, okay? <laughs> this is, it's just the way it is. And I don't really know all of the details myself, but I can give you the gist of exactly what's going through it. I'm not going to shout out the person just to perfect, protect them from any incrimination because I think they do good work. Uh, so let's just go right into the footage. So guys, this is a separate video. I did cover this before. Uh, this is a little blurry because it is a Twitter video, apologies. However, we just saw another person's footage right here who showed he can still purchase the Isle of Armor. He's showing this footage right here, which shows the expansion pass is right down there. Okay, clears up a little bit after a bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, it shows that the expansion pass was still purchasable. He has the armor pass. He's in the Isle of Armor. Now, the reason this is possible is because if you have a hacked switch, you are able to edit your save file location. Yes, with the update to Pokemon Sword and Shield, everyone got an update. They were able to get any of the Pokemon that were added to the Isle of Armor. Everybody gets that update for free. The people who buy the expansion pass get to come to the Isle of Armor as an extra place and do all the extra stuff. However, of course, everybody has access to the Pokemon that was updated. So with that update, guys, applying to everybody, the Isle of Armor was still there in everybody everybody's update, but it was locked out until people bought it or had the expansion pass. Now, with save file editing, you can edit your location and just completely warp yourself into the Isle of Armor. It does exist there. It is unlockable by doing that. And that's what we just saw in this footage. Now, of course, that is stealing, guys. That is piracy, so don't do that. Uh, obviously, you can only do it for yourself if you have a hack switch as well. It's not something a lot of people can get their hands on. But anyway, that is everything that happens if you get an Isle of, Isle of Armor pass hacked into your game and how to actually get the DLC if you do not have the armor pass. Uh, just stressing guys, don't do it, okay? Uh, but it is really interesting academically to just see that stuff uh, happening right here. And just FYI, I did leave out a crucial pointer on how to actually do that, uh, just for safety purposes anyway, guys. So again, thank you everybody for providing the footage and answering a really valid question. Now, there's an important thing to discuss about this regarding bans. The ban wave, well, as I proved in my last night's video, is not a ban wave at all. It's maybe one or two bans at max. Two bans at max, two bans that have been verified in one Discord server. It is not a ban wave. And other rumors that are false are people participating in hacked raids do not get a two month ban, that is fake. People getting the armor pass uh, hacked into their game do not get a ban because, first of all, well, the rumor is fake, and second of all, it doesn't work anyway. So, that's all you need to know, guys. So, you are safe on those two fronts. Uh, if you haven't checked out my hack video, there's a lot of important stuff that we go through in there, and uh, you guys should check it out. So, I'll see you guys around in the next video. Do drop a subscribe if you want to keep on top of all the Isle of Armor news from the number one channel. Guys, merch on the way. I know you guys want to hear that, and I know I said that in the last video. It's so soon. It's so soon, guys. Bells on if you want to get a little alert on when that goes live. We've got some really interesting deals to talk about, guys. So I'll talk to you then. I'll see you in the next video anyway. Till then, guys. Bye.